Hey everybody, in this week's video I want to go through some of the different types of leucistics. The blue-eyed, the black-eyed, and another. And um, I just want to get your opinion on which ones you like the best. So we're going to go through them, look at them one at a time. I've got a number of different examples here, so I'm going to go through them kind of quickly. But um, yeah, I just want to get your opinion on which one you like the best. I know which one sells the best, but I want to actually have you guys look at them real closely and figure out which one you like the best. So before I get into that, um, I do want to mention that if you're watching this video, please subscribe to our channel. Um, it helps us tremendously. I really want to grow this channel and get a lot more people to look at it. So if you could please like and subscribe to it, that would be very, very helpful. Another thing is if you want a lot of exclusive content that you're not going to see here necessarily, um, please go to patreon.com and search for Royal Constrictor Designs. Um, I'm showing a lot of exclusive videos, pictures, we're going to have live streams, we have a giveaway contest, uh, all kinds of nice stuff. Uh, I'm really adding in a lot of content to that that you're not going to be able to see everywhere else. So anyway, uh, that's enough for my sales pitch and let's get into the snakes. So this first one, and believe it or not, this is actually my third take. Um, a lot of these snakes look very similar and I keep calling them the wrong names. So uh, I actually did have to do multiple takes here, which is very rare for me. Okay, this first one, this is a uh, blue-eyed leucistic. It's a super lesser. And you can tell the super lessers and super butters from a lot of the other leucistics because they have blue eyes with red pupils. So this is a breeder female that we have here. She's currently been breeding a blue-eyed leucistic to make more blue-eyed leucistics because they are extremely popular. So nice, uh, you know, the super lassers tend to have really nice pure white bodies and uh, nice white heads with the, the bright blue eyes. So you can also make a blue-eyed leucistic by breeding lessers or butters to Mojaves, and that's what I did with this one. This is a butter Mojave blue-eyed leucistic. And the main difference is the pupils are black on him. This is a breeder male here. And he's got darker blue eyes overall, but yeah, black pupils. Okay, so then the next one that I'm going to show you is a black eyed leucistic or a super fire. Just pull her out here. This is a breeder female super fire. So you'll see the eyes are nice and black. And I actually think the super fires are the purest white. Sometimes you can get some that have yellow patches on them. But as far as the white color on them, I think the black eyes actually have the purest white. It's my opinion anyway. And then here is another one. This is a breeder male. This guy's actually an orange dream super fire. And he's a proven breeder. He's not real big, but he's been, he's uh, probably three years old now, and he's been a good breeder. Okay. And then the next ones that I want to show are albino super lessers. So this is a red-eyed leucistic. That one is a breeder male. And he actually, uh, he just started breeding pretty recently. I'm breeding him to some albino lesser females. And uh, yeah, nice, nice bright red eyes bright white body, really, really nice. So that one's a male, and then I also have this one. This one's got a little bit of pattern. So it, actually, I have it labeled as an albino super lesser, but with that pattern, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna have to go back into the breeding to see what I used to produce it, because that's uh, that yellow striping, that faint yellow stripe down the back is not something that's typical of an albino super lesser. Um, so I'm thinking there might be something else in there that contributed to the super form, maybe Mystic, 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to look at that to figure that out. Okay, and then the next one I have here is an albino super Mojave or cherry bomb. You can see she's got a little bit of a yellow tint to her. Her head's pretty white. Um, you know, a normal Super Mojave is going to have a, a gray head. So with the albino version, it's going to be a white head. And a lot of Super Mojaves are just slightly off-white. They're not quite the pure yellow that a lot of the Super Lessers are. So that translates into kind of a yellowish tone to the body. Um, I have seen some of these that are much whiter than this. But, um, but this, the, the two that I'm raising up for breeding right now, she's probably a year away. Um, they both have like this little bit of yellow tint to them. Okay, and then here is a really unusual one. I just wanted to show this guy. This is a Paradox Albino Super Mojave or cherry bomb, a lot of them are called, or people call them. And uh, yeah, he hatched out really unusual. The paradoxing probably won't come through in any of his babies, but he just looks really, really cool, and I just could not sell him. He's really unique. Okay, and then, the next one that I want to show this is a lavender albino super mystic so it doesn't have the Mojave or the butter or the lesser in there but it's um, it's a you know still a, a white snake or white ish snake it's got a little yellow striping down the back but yeah that's a albino super mystic And then the last one, I'm sorry, not a, not an albino super mystic, a lavender albino super mystic. Big difference there. Okay, and then this guy right here just hatched in 2022. This is a lavender albino super butter. As soon as I get the other one put away here, I'll give you a better view of him. He's got the really nice lavender albino red eyes. Nice pure white body. It's fantastic looking. So um, my goal is, you know, a lot of my, my production is to produce new and unique things that I've never seen before and that other people hopefully haven't produced yet. But I also do um, dedicate part of my production to producing things that I know are very popular in the hobby and leucistics are very, very popular in the hobby. So, um, and I just want to give people the most choices as possible. So I'm trying to make black-eyed leucistics, blue-eyed leucistics, and red-eyed leucistics. And I make a few every year of the red eyes. Um, and not, not that many yet, but a few of them. All right, so that's it for today. Um, please like and subscribe, like I said before. Also uh, visit our Patreon page. And also, please visit our website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. I'm constantly uploading new snakes. I think I'm uploading like 70 new snakes today. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff on there. Uh, everything will also be on my Morph Market page as well. So I'll be back again very soon with another video. Hope you guys enjoyed this.